Hi everyone, it's Anne back again. I've still been continuing uh, continuing on my um, grungy cards and, and papers thing, as you can probably tell by my hands. Um, I'm just having so much fun um, experimenting with all these uh, uh, new ways, or new to me, that um, I can make them grungy. And these were so simple and I was so pleased with how they came out. Hope you can see that. Um, I just wanted to show you how I did them. I started off with a photocopy onto card of a, a document like that and I just cut it up into four bits. Like that. <clears throat> So I'm just going to use one and the first thing I'm going to do is round the corners off. Okay. So I'm just bring in some scrap paper to protect my white sheet. Now using a glue stick, I'm just going to go over some um, parts of this. So no, no real rhyme or reason for it, just where I think I want to put it. So I'm just going to run a little line across there, which you probably can't see. <clears throat> Maybe there. And another one there. And there. And I've found this uh, lid off one of my bead containers. It's got a nice wide rim. So find something in your craft room that's got a, 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 a wide rim. Failing that you could probably use a wine glass or something. And I'm just going to run the glow stick around that rim. Like that. <clears throat> I'll put it on and press it down. Now, sorry you can't see any of this at the moment because it's it's just in glue but it will become evident in a minute where I've put it. Now taking just an ordinary tissue <coughs> I'm going to separate the two layers so I've just got one layer like that I'm going to put that on the card and give it a good press down. And then peel it off. You can keep that and use it over and over again. And I'm just leaving the pieces that have glued themselves down. You probably still can't see it very well. But once I put some ink on that, it'll come to life. So I'm using this archival ink, it's called Ground Espresso. You can use whatever colours you've got. And I'm using a brush. I'm just going to go over it. I'm not trying to blend anything, I'm just going over the whole thing. Any little bits that are sticking up, you can pull them off. Okay, so now you can see exactly where I went with the glue. I've got some lighter bits and I've got this <clears throat> teacup ring and it makes the whole thing look like it's been um, distressed. Now the last thing I did was just 
and go over the edges with the pad. Just to put a little bit of extra grunge on the corners and the sides. I'm not bothered if it overspills and leaves a smudgy mark. The more the better. Okay, so very quickly it, it now looks like it's been hanging around for a couple of decades or a couple of centuries and um, been used as a as a coaster or you know people have been thumbing through it with their sticky fingers. So it made it look grungy very very quickly. You can see we've gone from that to that. And I was so impressed with how quick it was and, and the effect that I, I got with the, um, the putting the little bit of tissue on there. All right, so that's all I've got, short and sweet. Got some other ones I did here that I put some labels on and uh, punch some holes in with my, I've got this new punch which I love. It punches like six holes. Look at that, it's great. Alright, <clears throat> I hope you have some fun making some and I thank you very very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon in the next video. Have fun, bye for now. <laughs>